Lebanese, minister fatally shot by childhood friend over denied environmental permits. Buhari to address Nigerians on Sunday. South African boxer seen in viral video punching air dies after brain injury. Details shortly. This is TOS Television, your digital first Pan-African news network. I am Merciful Ajinomo, and you are watching TOS News 360. Judicial document has revealed that Dominican Republic Environment Minister Orlando George Mera was fatally shot in his office, allegedly by a childhood friend over denied environmental permits. In the document, authorities described attacker Fausto Miguel de Jesus Cruz as a cold and calculated murderer who complained of not receiving preferential treatment from the Environment Ministry despite campaigning in support of the minister's modern revolutionary party ahead of the 2020 election. In Africa, militants have raided the Karma Industrial Gold Mine in northern Burkina Faso in the early hours of Thursday, killing one soldier and a civilian. It was not immediately clear who was responsible, but militants linked to Al-Qaeda and Islamic State have been waging an insurgency in northern Burkina Faso for nearly a decade and routinely carry out attacks. In Nigeria, President Muhammad Buhari will make a national broadcast address to Nigerians on Sunday. Minister of Information Lai Mohamed disclosed this during a press briefing on Thursday in Abuja. He said the, the president's message will be on the celebration of Democracy Day. The minister said some of the activities lined up for the day include a public lecture at the National Mosque on Friday and Jumat prayers on the same date and venue, followed by the president's address and a church service at the National Christian Center at 3 p.m. on Sunday. A federal high court sitting in Lagos State has found the Nigerian-American trained surgeon John Wake guilty of fraud and sentenced him to 27 years in prison. The presiding judge, Justice Abdulaziz Anka, found Nweke guilty of fraudulently obtaining goods from Konga Online Shopping Limited. It was gathered that the goods reportedly include 19 expensive smartphones and two cameras valued at 35 million naira. This is your digital first Pan African news network, TOS Television. You are watching TOS News 360. More national and sports stories on return. Stay with us. Thanks for staying. The presidential flag bearer of the All Progressives Congress, Bola Tinubu, and his counterpart in the opposition People's Democratic Party, former Vice President Atiku Abubakar, has reportedly begun the search for the running mate ahead of the 2023 general election. The spokesman for Tinubu campaign organization, Bayo Onanuga, in an interview with Newsmen, said the APC presidential candidate would meet the APC governors, whom he said would pick the former Lagos State governor's running mate. The Deputy Chief of Mission of the Embassy of the State of Israel, Mr. Yotam Kreman, has lauded key stakeholders who, in their various capacities, made the training of the beneficiaries of the IFAIR 2 initiatives a huge success. You see from the video a lot of what IFAIR is. It's an eight month annual accelerator program for startups in specific fields that were chosen between the Embassy of Israel and the Office of the Vice President. And unlike other programs, as you could see in the exhibition outside, our graduates really finish with a prototype of their product in their hand and ready to uh, uh, show it to investors and start their companies. I use my short time here to say thank you to those who made it possible. I want to thank our partners, Innovate, for being the home of iFair, as well as other programs. Thank you to Mr. Mualem, Mr. Dagan, uh, Professor Ibe, Tommy, Deji, Evelyn, and all the team of Innovate for making this possible. I want to thank the Make Lab for realizing the potential of collaboration between makers, entrepreneurs, and engineers, with the, between them and Nigerian dreams and challenges. I want to thank Avi Osfeld, Savon, Zvika, Ron, and the whole team of Make Lab. I want to thank Zell Program for bridging over the gap of knowledge 
and education in this field and contributing and donating their time and know-how to Liat, to Uri, and to everyone at Zell, and by extent to Reichman University in Herzliya. I want to thank Circular Economy Innovation and Natalie, and of course Airpiece for sponsoring the flights that took to bring us here three times during this year, to Allen, to Toyn, and to all their teams. Speaking, Gregory eBay represented by Edward Singati and other stakeholders at the ceremony lauded every contributor who made the program a success. Maybe you know or you don't know, the relationship between Professor Ibe and the State of Israel has not started today. It didn't start with this IFA. It goes back a long time. I'm sure you know that the parent company of Innovate is Skill G, Nigeria Limited. And obviously, the better half of the company, the chairman of the company, is Israeli as well. So Skill G has benefited from transfer of technology, has benefited from uh, assistance from experts, and most of the equipment that has been delivered to polytechnics and universities and colleges of education throughout Nigeria were uh, manufactured in Israel. And there were Israeli experts who also came to Nigeria and trained lecturers and uh, trainers on the equipment so that they could be used effectively for the education of young Nigerians. So, on behalf of Professor Ibe, I'd like to thank uh, you, uh, Your Excellency, so your, uh, your time, and through you, His Excellency, Ambassador Freeman, for all of the support that you have given, and for making this, uh, this uh, iFair a success. When this idea was being conceived, to give brilliant young Nigerians the opportunity to turn their ideas into inventions that could not only have an impact on the lives of Nigerians, but on humanity as a whole. He was there at the beginning, and he not only brought in, bought into the idea, but took this idea as uh, a project of the State of Israel which has had its success today. So even though he is not here, we would like to send him our greetings and thanks and appreciation because without him, there would have been no idea. I would like to thank the Vice President Office uh, and the Nigerian Government, the Israeli Embassy and the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Steve G, Professor Gregor Ibe, Dr. Moshe Moalem, this, the unstoppable Mr. Mayor Dagan. Yes. I want to congratulate the, the graduates and their men mentors who have provided this forum for us to interact. And also the Embassy of Israel for also giving unflinching support to this particular program. With my senior colleague, who we'll make sure yes, NIDA participate seriously with this program, because it's an opportunity. Um, we thank all the mentors, and we congratulate uh, the entrepreneurs, the innovators, and we look forward, because this is a great opportunity for our country, and also another opportunity for us to relate well with the state of Israel, because that is the home of innovation. The Innovation Fellowship for Aspiring Inventors and Researchers is a program organized in partnership with the Office of Nigeria's Vice President, Professor Yemi Oshimbajo, the Embassy of the State of Israel in Nigeria, Skillji Nigeria Limited, and other stakeholders. In sport, a South African lightweight boxer, Simiso Buthelezi, is seen in a viral video throwing punches into the air after he was knocked by his opposition, has died after suffering a brain damage. Boxing South Africa, BSA, in charge of the sport in the country, confirmed Buthelezi's death in a statement on Wednesday. He died after 10 rounds of boxing in the World Boxing Federation. In basketball, the Boston Celtics beat the Golden State Warriors 116-100 to, to take a 2-1 lead in the third game of the NBA Finals Series on Wednesday night. Jalen Brown scored 17 of his 27 points in the first quarter as his Boston Celtics side bounced back from Game 2 
to defeat with Jason Tatum contributing 26 points and Marcus Smart adding 24. And that is TOS News 360 on your digital first Pan-African news network. For more updates, visit www.tostvnetwork.com. Do follow and like our social media handles on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. And remember to subscribe on YouTube. Stay with us and enjoy more programs on TOS Television Network. I am Mesafo Lajinamo. Thanks for watching.